guys, it's Noelle. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the stuff that I found from Home Goods lately and kind of doing a big, massive Home Goods haul. It is collective. I've had this, I've gotten this stuff over a couple of months, and I've also gotten some pieces. Um, a couple couple months ago, but I never actually showed you guys what I picked up from them So I decided to just put the recent stuff that I found from home goods in one haul and show you guys kind of what I found Home goods has been amazing lately I have found so much good stuff in the past like two weeks of even going there But I do have a mirror currently on hold there because one of the mirrors that I have wanted for so long I've been looking for um, it was so expensive and it went on clearance So I just have to see if it will fit in like this space because I do have a small place But anyway, I'm rambling. There's so much good stuff home goods right now and you can really find some really trendy pieces depending on what your style is at home goods for very cheap and i have found some even some dupes so very exciting um if you guys want to see what i've picked up from home goods recently then let's get straight into the video Okay, so I have everything literally laid out right in front of me. Um, there are some things that are in my bedroom. There's one thing that's in my bedroom that is too heavy because it's it's a plant holder. Um, so I will show you guys. I will like take my vlog camera and then I'll show you guys once I'm done showing you guys everything here. But that is one of the things that I found. So I'm just gonna first start with whatever is in front of me. If you guys don't know my personal style of home decor, it's definitely boho slash mid-century modern i'm trying to take my stuff in my apartment and move it more towards more of just the natural tones in my house i feel like that just fits my vibe better i do love the colorful boho and i do love car colorful things kind of like urban outfitter style but in terms of like what i like my style a lot changes and i just like more neutral things in my home just in case if i want to add a touch of color into my house so just like throw pillows and stuff like that so for the most part i'm trying to get more into the neutral realm realm of it so think like Tulum, Bali vibes. I really do love natural boho pieces with a little bit of mid-century modern to put like in the furniture. So yeah, so most of this is going to be like boho pieces. So the first things that I found, um, I bought this, I bought two picture frames to match my vibe more. This might just sound like not as exciting, but these are really actually beautiful picture frames. And I have one resting on my nightstand right now. I do have one on my nightstand. We don't have room for two nightstands in our bedroom. Um, just because it is a very small bedroom. Eventually, obviously, when we move into a house and so on and so forth, this will be placed on the other nightstand for Cash's side. But for now, this is the picture frame that I decided to put on our one nightstand. I love this picture frame. It's beautiful. As you guys can see, this picture of me and Cash. It's just a really beautiful picture frame. It says it was made in India. I don't know. But I just love this wood like huge wood piece of picture frame i just think it's beautiful i love the tone of the colors as well i was very specific about the tone of wood um i'm kind of not really into red woods i don't really like that look i do like a darker wood sometimes um but not too much just because it can darken the room and because of our hardwood floors they are really dark brown i try to go for more of lighter brown pieces so this is one of the ones that i picked on the back there is even a place for like a little place right here and it says place and date so even you can kind of like date and place where this picture was taken but i just think this is a really beautiful picture frame to just have and then this one i got to complement the picture frame it's not the exact same but i think it complements each other very well i still have the price tag on it because i haven't used it yet but i think these both complement each other very very well so this will be on one side and on the nightstand this will be the other one i actually do love the picture that it came in so i honestly might just keep the picture frame if if we don't end up putting a picture in here eventually but i just think this is another beautiful picture frame this actually ended up being more expensive than this one i think this is way better quality than this one but anyway this picture frame is gorgeous it has a really pretty like picture of marble in the middle of it i just think it's a really nice um, picture frame to complement the other one. I love the wood that it's used with. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but it's my favorite type of wood. Uh, uh, Acadia? Acadia? I don't know. Really, really beautiful picture frame, and I think they complement each other really well. I love the wood. I love natural elements in my home to kind of bring that boho vibe in, and this is a perfect way of doing it, um, and very inexpensively. Okay, the next piece in front, I only brought two over just because I didn't feel like bringing the entire set over, but I did find four glasses. Funny story, I actually did see these at Anthropology and Urban Outfitters, and I wanted to buy the smaller cups from urban just because i want to have the entire full set i did only find tall tumbler glasses but they are exact dupe they're not too expensive on urban and anthro but this was way cheaper um they are way way cheaper and i found the exact same look so i'm really excited and i want to get the 
the smaller cups to fill the set. But I love these cups so much, I did end up finding four. So they just are normal glasses, but what's really cool about it is it has this accent of wicker or baton or whatever you wanna call it around it. To give it that, again, boho natural element, you can just take these right off and clean the glasses. I'm pretty sure these were like $2.99 a glass, which is insane. I think the ones from Anthro and Urban are like eight. $8 a glass, which is pretty pricey, but exact, exact dupe. They also did have a pitcher, two different pitchers that again, Urban and Anthro both have as well. So I just thought it was really cool that I could find a dupe of what I wanted from one of my favorite places to find home decor at Home Goods. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah, I have seen these a couple places in different ones. I'm just really hoping I find smaller cups. That would be really cool. But for now, I do have that four cups and I just think that's really cool for the summertime and just in general for my vibe. The next thing I saw, I was looking for soap because we actually ran out of some in our kitchen and I wanted to get these glass bottles. I love Aesop, I think that's how you pronounce it. I love Aesop soaps. It's just they're very, very expensive and I don't really want to spend that much money on a soap or a lotion. So I love this look and they have a ton of these at home goods and they are so inexpensive. This soap was $5, which is really awesome and I can just reuse this and refill it with soaps that I find um, at like Target or um, a grocery store. And then I also found this as well. This brand, they have a ton of different looking ones like this, but I really love the apothecary bottles, like the amber bottles with like that very chic label, if you guys can see. So this brand is Muse Apothecary. This one's the Coco Ritual. I got the Relaxing Room Mist and the Hydrating Hand Soap. This is coconut and sandalwood, which I am obsessed with the smell. I love it so, so much. I'm really glad that I found this scent. It's also made in California, which is really nice. Um, it's pH balanced, paraben free, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So it's actually a really nice hand soap. I love it and I just like that I can refill this and it's very inexpensive for that like trendy bottle that is definitely very trendy right now. And then I just got a, a relaxing room mist. Definitely unnecessary, but I do love to spray my house and I love smells and I love making sure everything smells really nice in my house and myself. I love perfumes. So I always like to have relaxing sprays, candles, stuff like that. So I thought this would go great in our living room or even in our bedroom. Um, this one is aloe, eucalyptus, and lavender, and it just smells so soothing. It honestly just reminds me of like a spa. Like when you walk into a spa, it kind of smells like Dermalogica, if that makes sense. They have a very unique smell to their skincare, and I just love this smell, and I just think it's really nice. So I got that as well um, to make our house smell nice. On to more home decor, I love this. I actually got this inspiration. Um, I originally got these because I really wanted to decorate. This is a little like, getting ahead of myself, but I really wanted to decorate our island for Christmas and stuff. And I don't want like the atypical Christmas setting. I'm trying to get out of that like tacky holiday vibe and more of like trying to incorporate my home decor with the holiday decor. So I thought this would be a really cool way to decorate like our island with crystals and still kind of make it look festive looking. I got this idea from one of my favorite bloggers, home bloggers and just fashion bloggers in general. Her name is Valerie Starr, you should follow her but she decorated her home, her, her table last year with a ton of like these crystals and I just thought they were beautiful and I put these in our house. These, I, I forget the properties of them. I did have it on there, but I'm pretty sure it like clears the air, gives you clarity, stuff like that. I'm not too much into crystals, but I do love the way they look and I love this. This is beautiful. And these, if you find these at regular places, if you go to like, right. Okay, so my camera died. I feel like this happened in the last like three videos that I filmed. I don't exactly know where I left off, but anyway, I picked up these crystals. They are very expensive at certain places. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. If you find these these like crystals at certain like gem or stone places, I feel like they just jack up the prices. This could easily be $70. And this was, I think 20 bucks. And then this was like $7. So very inexpensive price to make your house look super bohemian and get those crystals if you guys really are into the spirituality of it. Um, but I just thought this would look really beautiful for a table setting. I wanna get more and kind of line the table, do that whole thing. But again, I just have this on one of my bookshelves and then the other one in our bedroom. So I have those two. There are a ton of other crystals. I do have this one as well that I found. Um, this might be a rock or a crystal, but how beautiful is this? I just think it's gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the yellow and pink in it. I love rose quartz. It's one of my favorite stones. I think it's beautiful. I think it also symbolizes love and I don't know, something else. But I just really love this and I think it's beautiful and it goes great on top of um, the stack of books that I have on our bookshelf. I just think it looks beautiful. So this is another one that I found at Home Goods as well. I also picked this up as well. You can find these all over Amazon. They are pretty inexpensive on there as well, but I did find these at Home Goods, I will link this down below if you guys wanna shop this on Amazon, but I know for a fact in Home Goods stores, 
they are not home goods like home decor stores they jack up the prices on this because of the fact that it is so popular now with like the bohemian decor that they jack up the price for this and it, there's no need you could literally make it yourself i got this from home goods this was 10 bucks which is still kind of pricey but for way less expensive than most places i think i have one on my amazon account that's like 8.99 or something so i'll link that down below as well if you guys are interested and it also does have a tassel on that one but i found this at home goods very inexpensive i just think it's super cool i love the beads and i wrap it around our stack of books and kind of have it hanging off of our shelf and it looks really cool yeah so this is another like really trendy piece that i found at home goods for very inexpensive i also picked up these coasters that i just thought were absolutely beautiful and again i feel like these would be extremely expensive if you found them at, at another store i don't remember how much they were because i took the price tag off i'm pretty sure they were less than ten dollars for four coasters and these coasters are like really beautiful and they're just beautiful marble like how gorgeous is this again love those natural tones natural tones all in my house i really love that and it just makes it look more luxurious and i only paid like ten dollars for these so it's amazing we can always use cup um coasters i have them all over our house just because i don't want our furniture ruined and we have a lot of wood and that tends to ruin if you get it wet so i do have these all over the place and i just thought this looks really beautiful on our bar cart so this is where that is and i have one on our nightstand because i do love to drink water ah! Please don't break. I do love to drink water at night. So I do have one on our nightstand. Oh my God, I'm a mess. Moving on, what else do we have? Okay, so I've had this for quite a while now, but I thought this was fun to mention just because I do have this on our, um, what's the word? Bookcase. Yeah, so I was looking for a bowl that was like perfect to hold all of our Polaroids and just pictures and stuff. So I do have this on our bookcase and it just sits on top of our um, one of the shelves that I have. And I have all of our Polaroids in here. So I do have um, some shelves in here as well. So I just really like that I can just put some memorabilia in here. I do have these shelves from when I went to Miami, my trip that I just went on. Thought they were beautiful white shelves. So my camera is about to die again, come on. But yeah, I do have um, all of our Polaroids in here that I just like to showcase pictures. So when people come over, they can look inside and look at the pictures. And I just thought that was a really cute way, um, cute and chic way to display all of our pictures. So yeah, and I love the bowl. Again, very natural toned elements, um, and it's just the perfect size. So I found that at Home Goods. Okay, so this whole filming video is turning into a disaster. I don't know where the camera died. I think I ended with the bowl. Anyway, if you guys want to see it again, this is the bowl that I keep all of my Polaroids in. Um, if you want to see a cute one at midnight from 2005, this little mid mid. <laughs> keep all of my Polaroids, my pictures in this bowl, just so people, when they come over, if people came over <laughs> to look at the photos. Okay. Home Goods has really, really, really good coffee table books if you're looking for some that's relatively inexpensive. There's some that are more expensive, like the Chanel books. I've seen YSL books in there that are like pretty expensive. They're like wrapped, but they do have really, really nice coffee table books. And I've gotten a couple. I recently just got this one and I know for a fact it's still there. So you guys can still try and find it. It is this book right here. I love it. It's pink. It matches perfectly with, if you guys know what my rug looks like in my living room, our rug has a little pink in it. And then we have a cactus pot that's also pink. So this kind of accents it really well and brings all of those colors together. It is a Kate Spade book. And there's a little like wine coffee, like rim stain. I just think it's so cool. I just think it looks like a really cool coffee table book. And it actually has really nice stuff inside. It's actually a really interesting book. So it's about like hosting parties. It teaches you how to like set a table, how to kind of decorate it. So it's a really nice book. I actually should really go through here and read this one day. Yeah, there's like a set section for wining and dining, how to fold like napkins and stuff, what to pair certain drinks with, whether it's like a Manhattan and s'mores. They have like Bloody Mary and like raw oysters. So they have like things that you can pair with. It's actually a really, really interesting book. And then it's a really, it's a really, really nice book. Um, it's not just cute. There's flower portions in here. So it's actually a really nice, informative book. And it was only $14.99, which is really, really inexpensive for a coffee table book they can jack those prices up to like 80 bucks a book which is absolutely insane so yeah there's that um i also want to show you guys some pillows that i've found from them um we have this on our bed just because it matches our comforter right now but i feel like i could keep this around and use it in other decor eventually when we like obviously move into bigger spaces as we progress together like in our home or whatever um, but I have a problem with buying like throw pillows that I love and then they just don't work well with other things that I have and I need to stop buying throw pillows or start coordinating them where they go in multiple places in my house. So I've been thinking a lot more about my throw pillows and this is one of them. 
that I actually bought and I feel like this would go great in like an office space that I have that I have like envisioned in my mind that would go really great on the couch or something in there so it's this pillow right here the colors are a white and like a baby pink which I love this would go great in like a space of mine eventually and it goes really great on our comforter because we do have a pink accented comfort I feel bad for cash a lot of things in here is pink but it's very like it's not very girly if that makes sense I've made it where like it's it, a boy or a girl could live here um but yeah this goes great I love the bohemian pillow this stuff is really in right now pillows can be very very expensive um because they again know that the boho style is very very popular I know with the rose bowl you can find pillows like this and I, that's a dream of mine to go there one day and just get a ton of home decor but obviously i'm on the east coast and that's on the west coast so i can't but this is a very nice way to get it i'd see i know jacks up their prices as well for their like moroccan pillows so try and find better pillows that aren't so expensive you can it's definitely um possible also on the talk of pillows i found these two pillows thanks to one of my favorite youtubers slash bloggers she's one of my favorite girls to watch i love her so much her and her husband are adorable and i honestly love all of their q a's and stuff together in terms of like their marriage and just oh, they're just a really great couple and i've been following her for a really long time i love her her name is julia havens you guys should definitely go check her out um she just posted a home goods haul and she posted about these pillows and i legit went to all of the home goods around me to try to find these pillows and i found them they're perfect and they go great in my living room and also in my bedroom as well so it works perfectly i love these pillows they scream rose bowl to me and they just scream very very high like bohemian like very very expensive pillow i love these pillows so i ended up getting two the other one is right here but it goes great on our sofa because we have like a bluish gray sofa so this accents it really well and then eventually i'll move this into the bedroom because i feel like this would look really nice in a bedroom as well but i love the fact that these are down pillows so it makes it look more luxurious so all you have to do is when you place it on your couch just tuck it like this and it makes it look more luxurious i think this is a beautiful beautiful pillow very very beautiful um i love the moroccan boho style of this and i love the tones it just brings more warmth and more coziness into the into the um the house and i feel like i can definitely make this into like the fall time and the winter time as well so again i love these pillows thanks julia you have great style and i'm so happy i found these so they are still there as well now moving on to one of probably one of my favorite finds at home goods and there's still another one there and i'm like debating on getting one but we don't have another nightstand so it's kind of stupid for me to buy one because i don't have another place to put this lamp but this lamp is absolutely beautiful and it's worth every penny. I'm obsessed with this so, so much. I definitely need to switch out the shade, the lampshade, because it annoys me and it's like crooked and it doesn't really go with the style, but this lamp is my baby. I love this lamp so much. This is in our bedroom. Beautiful, beautiful marble. I love the shape of this. Very like modern, bohemian. I love this. And what's awesome about this is there's, it's obviously a lamp, but this part also lights up as well so it's kind of like a night light at night which i love i turn this part on at night when we're watching tv or if we're just like lounging in bed at night i love this lamp so much it's absolutely beautiful i know my home goods has about like three or four of them out right now so i know they're still there and you can still find them it's absolutely beautiful it looks like very very high quality like i feel like this lamp could be put on sale for like 250 200 easily and it was so affordable at home goods so definitely try and find that there it's such a beautiful lamp and this will go with me everywhere in like my future home um i think the last thing here is this and then i'll go into my bedroom and show you guys the basket that i got that i put my um yucca plant in yes i have a yucca plant it's like my favorite thing ever i love it so much i will show you guys after but let me move this lamp real quick the last thing that that i picked up from home goods i have this actually pinned on my pinterest and i know i wanted this for a bathroom I think it's really cool the only thing is with this it's wood and it actually has gotten wet a couple times so it's a little like on top so which sucks so I'm, i think i have to move it away from our shower but i love the look of this in a bathroom with like a plant on top so i'm definitely thinking of a plant i'm just not sure which one to get for our bathroom because there is no windows so i need to look at plants and research what plants do well in like low light humid environments but i got this stool again these stools i know there was a stool similar to this at target this was like 80 bucks at target i got this at home goods for 30 which is amazing because people sell like wood items they jack up the prices so you can again get this natural element um bohemian feel to your house at home goods again for very inexpensive it does again you guys can see it's a little stained from the water drips but you really can't notice it and honestly it doesn't really bother me if things are in my house are going to get like 
ruined and stuff because it is a house it is a home but yeah i have this in our bathroom and i love it it's right next to our bath uh tub and shower and i had a little palm like fake palm lamp uh leaf tree on it and it looked really cool but i definitely want to get like a real plant because i do love real plants um but yeah that's the last thing that i found i'm so happy i found that because that's pretty inexpensive for a stool and again i can also use that for functionality like i can actually use that for a stool and it still be like aesthetically pleasing so let's go into the bedroom i will show you the last thing that i got from home goods and then that is it so i am in our bedroom right now i have this on the ground um next to it I'm not sure where to put this yet, but this is the best place for it because I love listening to the radio in our bedroom. But this is the basket that I picked up from Home Goods, which is the absolute perfect size for my yucca plant. I love this thing so much. I love this plant. And I don't see a lot of people having it versus like the fiddle leaf tree, which I wish I could have, but I don't have enough light in here. So I opted for this one and it's still going pretty strong. It's dead down here, but it's still regrowing leaves. Like, this list leaf is new, like, so I'm not quite sure. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't have the best green thumb, but it is dying down here, but it's still growing new leaves. So I don't know, I'm still figuring it out. But yeah, this basket is perfect size for this plant. Thought it's really cool. And I like the basket inside here versus a pot. I don't know, I don't really like the look of a pot on a carpet, even though I hate the carpet. I wish we didn't have carpet, but I just think it's the perfect bohemian feel. I love the color of it like the shade of the the basket and you can find so many baskets at home goods that are really really inexpensive so i definitely recommend looking for baskets we also have one for our laundry that's a lot higher that has a lid on it so again you can find some really good stuff at home goods so yeah we found this one for our little plant baby and it looks so freaking good okay so that is the end of this haul video i really hope you guys enjoyed everything that i found and showed you guys from home goods today again you guys can always find if you have a different style than me they do have a ton of different styles like farmhouse they have a ton of that stuff there very modern stuff you can find great furniture i found chairs there and sofas unfortunately like I, I obviously i wasn't looking for chairs or sofas but i always see amazing stuff there for a really really great price they have amazing rugs as well so i definitely recommend checking out your local home goods if you guys are looking for stuff it always does go back and forth though like one day i'll find amazing stuff and other days i just won't so you guys always have to kind of look um, frequently if you're really looking for something at home goods, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video Let me know down below if you guys like home decor hauls and home decor videos in general I will try and make more I plan on making more blog posts about home decor as well So definitely going to be coming soon and then we'll be decorating for the season soon Which is so crazy to me. I feel like I just took down my Christmas tree yesterday so yeah, we'll definitely have a ton of decorating stuff coming soon here on my channel. So um, if you guys want to stick around, don't forget to click this like button too. I know you guys like those home decor hauls. And if you guys want to stick around here on my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.